What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK, Trotter Brother, Dr. Lit, the darkest man around. And today, I'll be talking about feedback regarding One Piece Burner Blood 2. If we get a One Piece Burner Blood 2, just feedback as a whole for the next One Piece game. But anyway, guys, get your fried chicken, get your Kool Aid, and sit them cheeks down. Because you know, you definitely know, this UK, Trotter Brother will be going ham on this video. Without further ado, let me just get with it. So today guys, I will be talking about Endless Mode and Tournament Mode in One Piece Bird and Blood. And before, and I mean, and before any of you guys put down in the comment section below, type in, you keyboard warriors bruh, going blick. There is no tournament mode in One Piece Bird and Blood. What are you on about? There is no tournament mode in this game. And yes, I know this. I know that we do not have tournament mode on this game I'm just saying that to put it out there just to let you guys know that I already know this because I know for a fact there are people out there in the One Piece Burning Blood community that love to be smart as is that think they know it all and I'm just putting it out there just to let you guys know that I already know that we do not have tournament mode in One Piece Burning Blood back to what I was saying endless and tournament mode in One Piece Burning Blood so when it comes to endless for the most part it's a good mode it's a good mode I really like endless as a whole but my gripe with this mode is the fact that Endless is not in real time. When I mean Endless is not in real time, I mean spectating is not in real time. You're always going to be behind unless you literally click and ready up at the same time. But for the most part, you're always going to be behind. And for the most part, you shouldn't need to ready up. And when I mean you shouldn't need to ready up, the two people that are fighting should be the only people that need to ready up. All you need to do is watch. All you need to do is look. You don't need to ready up. You don't need to select a team because you're not fighting yet. And this goes to another point I want to make. Another point I want to make is if you're spectating, you shouldn't have the option to select characters for the next fight. This is what should happen. Two, the two people that are fighting, the two people that are fighting should go into a screen that literally shows them the whole character roster. So the selection screen, the character roster screen, it shows them the, whole, the full roster. It gives them a certain amount of time to select the team that they want. And after they select the team that they want, it takes you, the person that is spectating, to the battle where you see what's happening. Whether they skip the cutscenes, whether they don't, you see what's happening. You, either, you see it from a live point of view. And that pretty much fixes the problem. That pretty much fixes the problem of Endless. Because for the most part, people are behind for the most part, is due to the fact that they're busy selecting characters for the next match. While when they finally ready up and join, they're joining into a fight that is way behind, a fight that is not even, like, you don't even see the end of the fight. You do not even see the end of the fight. If they can tweak it, if they can make endless real time, it'll be so much better to see people's reaction and to hear people's reaction when playing One Piece Burning Blood. It's a little tiny feature, but Little stuff like that brings the community together because the community loves like endless, the community loves spectate mode. Spectate mode is a big feature that I feel some devs are finding this an underrated feature to have in the game. But as a whole, if they can fix that, that would be dope, that would be cool. And I want to know what you guys think about um, endless and one piece burning blood. Should they fix the spectate mode? Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below because I want to know about that. But Another thing that I would like to say when it comes to Endless is the host. And when I mean host privileges, I mean host privileges to the point that they can go on settings and say everyone in this Endless can only use hockey users. Everyone in this Endless can only use Daryl Fruit users. No one can use um, supports. So settings that takes away some of the stuff in the game. like. Admin power, bruh. Like, the power of the host. You know what I'm saying? If they were to add little things like that, that would make it dope. That would make Endless interesting. And that would give you a different type of Endless that you can end up being in. But as a whole, people love spectate mode. People love spectate mode in anime games. It's a feature that people love to use. It's a feature that people love to see. To the point that a game as bad as Revolution actually lasted as long as it did. Due to the fact that they had... Spectate mode in Endless. And that's the reason why Naruto's... I didn't mean that. Cross that out. Cross that out. I didn't mean that. 
that's the reason <laughs> that's the reason why most Naruto fans played Revolution as long as they did because they loved Endless, they loved spectate mode in the game. But as a whole, I want to know what you guys feel about this. You guys feel that they need to tweak spectate mode? Do you guys feel like it needs to be fixed? Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below because I want to know what you think about that. But when it comes to tournament mode, it's a mode that I know a lot of people like to see in this game. It's, it's so wanted to the point that people are actually making tournament modes just based on the stuff that they have. Like when you know people are trying to make their own tournaments without actually having a legit tournament mode, you that kind of tells you that they want a tournament mode, but they make it do with what they got. So for the next One Piece game, Hopefully they can add a tournament mode, hopefully they can add a feature like that in the game. I would like to see it, I would use it, I know people out there would just say it's just endless with brackets, but little things like I said again, little things like that is things that people like to see. Like the effects in Burning Blood, like uh, Laura's hat coming off, Sabo's hat coming off, I like seeing that in the game. Little things, some little things actually make a big difference when it comes to these games. And a feature that I should that I forgot to suggest for tournament mode and endless is a spectate mode option a spectate mode only option and when I mean a spectate only option I mean you don't have to fight to be able to spectate you can just spectate with free will as long as it's okay with the host if the host don't kick you but just the freedom to just spectate and just watch fights that's is what some people like to do. Some people like to just watch fights. Some people like to sit there, watch fights. Some people like to just sit there and just sit back and watch good players fight. Because when you see two good players fight on any game, like especially a fighting game, bro, it's, it's really entertaining to watch. Like even when it comes to Storm, even when it comes to um, like Dragon Ball games, when you see two good people fight, it's actually pretty entertaining to see and it's actually really fun to watch. So if they can do a spectate only mode for like one piece burning blood for endless and tournament mode if it gets added that would be dope that would be beast and that would be something i would love to see and another thing i would like to say say if you're doing a tournament and you finish your fight and you're waiting for your next fight your opponent that you're potentially going to face is still fighting you should have the option to watch to spectate their fight when i mean spectate their fight as soon as your fight's finished and they're still fighting it should take your screen over to what's going on in their in their fight um, a feature that that would be dope and I don't really think that they've done that in the anime game but it'll be really cool to see that and it was something I would really like to see but as a whole guys I want to know what you guys think leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below what do you think about tournament mode what do you think about spectate mode leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below because this has been your UK Trotter brother Dr. Blit the darkest man around and it's time for me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. So, please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Please leave a like, rating, if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye. Work.